Welcome to Waiting Into Retirement. In today's episode, we look at transportation solutions for long drives. Welcome back everyone, it's Mike here. So today we're gonna to look at a problem Laura and I ran into and had to solve, or we think we solved it. So we have a Subaru Outback and we need to get it and two 60 pound, 70 pound dogs to Mexico. So storage is gonna be a problem. I thought about possibly getting a trailer and pulling it, but to be quite honest, I'm not that comfortable driving with a trailer behind me and backing up and all that kind of stuff. So didn't go that route. So what I decided to do was look at roof rack systems. So I researched a whole bunch of them and I landed on the Thule XT Force, extra large. I did have to look back and forth at different sizes based on my car. So this is the Thule XT Force. Now we've had it sitting outside for a little bit, so there's a little bit of dust and dirt on it, but it's brand new and it's never been used. So let me walk through how this works. So the beauty of the XT Force is it is lockable. So you turn the key and there it is, it pops open. Now, one of the nice things about the XT Force is it pops open from both sides. So I can open this side, close it, or open the other side, which as you can imagine, hello Maple, is a good option because depending on what side of the car you wanna remove things from, it gives you that flexibility to get into both sides. Now, it has some straps inside here, which you can tie down your luggage if need be. Uh, we'll probably use those. I think one of the things that um, to think about, and I'll close this back up, is that it is not uniform height. So it's highest at its back and it tapers at the front. And that's obviously for aerodynamic purposes but we're gonna have to pack intelligently and put some bulky things up there and maybe at the front put more soft goods that you can kind of jam in there. Um, I'll open it back up again. It has an easy lock system. So if we look at these, I'll fold this up just a touch. Basically all you're doing is putting this on your roof rack and spinning these and locking it tight. So there's four of those that you lock in to put onto your roof. Um, I've had it on top of the roof. It looks really good. This locking system also works very well. Uh, you just tighten it till it clicks. It's very hot out here today. Um, I did take it off the car on my own. So it, uh, it can be managed by one person much better by two. So that is the Thule XT Force. So I'm gonna close this side up, lock it back up. Done very simply, just close the lid. Take the key, give it a full twist. And there we go, we're all locked up. So it did come with two keys. Don't wanna lose those after a long trip. Um, so I think this is the right solution for us. We are certainly uh, going to give it a try. It was highly rated. Um, if it cost, it was about $950 Canadian. So I think that's in around 700 US, 650 US. Uh, that's for the brand new ones. We did look for some used ones online, but it would have been a three hour drive to go pick it up. It just didn't seem to make much sense. So here we are with the Thule Forest XT on top of the car. 
and Laura is just going to show us how you tighten the clamps in. So it's a, a, a pretty tough turn clockwise until you hear a click and then you know that you have it on tight. <laughs> and there it is. I'll do the final turn. <laughs> and Laura, if you can just pull down the latch, there's a strap there that makes it easy. And there you go. And then the strap goes on the inside. And that is it. So that's it for this episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned a little something about the Thule Force XT. Um, if you like our content and you want to subscribe, please feel free to do so down below. We'd certainly appreciate that. Um, we are trying to build up our subscriber list and we certainly like all of the comments and feedbacks that we get as well. That is uh, certainly helpful for us and we enjoy answering them all. So until next week, this is Mike from Waiting Into Retirement.